And from Mariupol, we have a direct contact with our special envoy, Alejandro Kierk, reporting at the main warehouse of the city, where supplies are being collected to be later distributed among the citizens. There are medicines, water, food, and even toys for children are among the goods for the population. We pass the signal to the live report to have more details. Go ahead, Alejandro. This is the main warehouse of Mariupol, where the distribution of food, supplies, water, medicines, and uh, toys, even for children, uh, is taking place, um, centralizing uh, this effort um, to help the population of Mariupol, uh, a city ravaged by intense combats for the last uh, three weeks. The fighting still goes on, but it is um, center uh, uh, at the um, Stal Azov, Azov Stal actually, the um, steel uh, works that once in history provided for most of the steel of the Soviet Union. Um, the Nazi battalions and Ukrainian forces are um, surrounded there and they keep fighting. Uh, some have already surrendered and it is expected that this fight uh, will end soon. Uh, we came over with uh, two trucks um, of help uh, from Russia, organized by uh, several organizations, uh, Russian organizations that are committed um, to provide supplies for this city um, and more than that, to provide help in order to restore the city life, which has been severely uh, broken by this um, war. Many people have left uh, the city, uh, but many remain in dire need of help. We spoke with, with some of the organizers. This is what they had to say. All the local authorities helped us to overcome all the bureaucracy. We arrived quickly and everything is fresh off the conveyor's belt. Among them are sweets, gingerbread from Tula, sweets from Pilitsi, and rubleka sausages from the best Russian companies. And the essential is water and medicines. But I hope that this city will revive, that it will be a tourist city, like the old Soviet times. Both Moscovites and St. Petersburgers will be able to rest here, in the city of the Sea of Azov. It was always very much loved by the children, and that's why I think things will work here. Life will get better. All this will end. It's all temporary. We all know that. Humanitarian aid is a fest. Public agencies and patrons of the arts. But our task is not limited to this humanitarian convoy, but also to the delivery, that is, to the constant organization of the delivery of the humanitarian convoys of the peoples of Russia, to the people of Ukraine. There is a role here, not only in the humanitarian component, but even more perhaps in this people's public diplomacy, which has a key role today in building relations between peoples. Today, if the residents of Mariupol are being tested, are being tested by difficulties to all of us, including you. This is it for now from Mariupol. We thank our special envoy Alejandro Kirk from Mariupol in the region of Donbas. There, he's there reporting live from the field.